Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Indoor. So we're here, uh, this is trip two at our little primitive camp. Let me give you guys a look-see. You can see the changes. Of course, there's no tarp or anything up. We still have our one bench. We'll probably do a couple cool things with that. Uh, there's our horse and that's all the stuff that we chopped down last time. So there'll be some good kindling from firewood in there. You gotta be careful though, because uh, yeah, there's some critters nesting in there. Got our tripod and our fire ring and of course our table. Uh, so we're going to get ready to rock and roll and start setting some stuff up. The uh, Bushcraft USA 10x10 canvas tarp. You guys have seen me do some other videos with this before. Done a couple A-frames with it at a baker's tent. So we're out here in our primitive camp and actually I don't bring this around that much. Basically because it's so heavy it's not really something I throw in my pack. I've got a different version of something from Bushcraft USA which is multi-cam. It's really light. It actually fits on my Saber Cat and it's actually bigger than this so I can do a little bit more with this. But this is a great item. It should last forever so we're going to put it to the test here. We're here at our camp, and last time we used a multicam tarp, so we're going to just tarp out the main camp area. Of course, we're going to be here pretty frequently, either doing classes, doing videos, or just out here having a good time. So as long as we keep this thing tight and the wind's not whipping it, it should last for a long time. We're in a piece of area right here where there's a lot of open space, so don't have to worry about debris falling on or anything. So just stay with me, guys. We'll be right back. We're going to set it up right now. All right, guys, so this is our area. As you can see, uh, it's pretty open right there which is actually pretty cool. Now, the main reason that is is because a lot of these trees right here we took down ourselves, so we opened up the canopy a little bit. Uh, but we're going to uh, put a roof over our heads to be. Need to set our sleep by here by the fire. We're good to go on that end. So we're going to set it up on that tree first and on this tree, and then we'll figure out how we're going to shoot it because I want to keep it away from the fire. All right, guys, here's step one. We just uh, threw a ridge line on that right there. Got it pretty high up on the tree. Came through here, grabbed the line, and then brought it back. And actually, right now, that's just not, that's just wrapped around the tree. So just keep positive pressure, so we can make adjustments as need be. And uh, did a similar deal over here. So we wrapped around that one tree, and then came down and threw a knot on that one. So that way we can adjust, and uh, we're probably gonna get a large stick, put it up through the middle, and we need to put a little pitch in it little angle to it with the uh, probably a plastic water bottle to protect the tarp but this will this will be pretty good we'll be right back. we've uh, thrown up a simple ridge line and this is probably about seven feet up off the ground between this tree and that tree and the reason being is this tree is kind of it's kind of light we're actually gonna throw some lines in between these four trees we got enough paracord now this is not an efficient use of paracord I will say that right now we have a little bit extra paracord like I said before, this is private property. We are doing a long-term type primitive uh, camp here just so we can keep on coming down here and we don't have to take all this time to set up our stuff. We can get down here, get you guys some great videos and, and be out of here when we need to. So uh, the reason being is I want to tie some extra points of rope on the tarp so we can make sure it's nice and tight and also make sure I have the correct elevation so if we get water that comes, it'll be pushing downhill off the tarp that way it won't flood our camp down here. So, all right, we'll be right back. All right, fellas, so here's the final product, nice and taut. Now these extra tie-down points I might throw on here as well. One thing about these tarps from Bushcraft USA, they're amazing quality and pretty good value, as you guys can see, even underneath here, we have uh, some extra tabs here in case you want to go that way and do an A-frame or something like that. So there's a nice, actually pretty dramatic slope there. We're pretty good distance from our fire. Canvas is pretty fire retardant anyway. Uh, so this is this is tall enough for me to stand up here. And I'm a pretty tall guy, so I'm not going to hit my head on this. But at the same time, we're going to keep water off of here. And it's going to put it down there where we're not using that area right now. So if anybody's here, can sit under here and get away from the elements. Now, this guys, this is not a shelter by any means. This is just some cover. Uh, so we have this work area slash school area covered and uh, get away from the elements. So pretty good stuff. Now, of course, guys, you may not want to leave something like this. I mean, this is a pretty costly item out in the field for a long period of time and let it be exposed to weather. Now, this will be great out there, you know, two or three weeks if you guys are doing a long, sustained camping trip. Canvas is amazing material. It is a little bit heavy, so you do, play, you do pay with it with the weight. Now, one thing, some of the canvas that isn't treated, you never want to touch it because if it's raining and you touch it, it'll start to wick, the oils in your hand will start to wick uh, water through there. But this should be work really well, 
and I've already had this out for a number of days before. Another thing that canvas does that nylon doesn't do is it actually is pretty resilient to the sun. Nylon can break down very, very quickly if it's in direct sunlight for an extended period of time. So uh, we can be able to leave this up for a while and come back here. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad with leaving this up a couple months at a time without even checking on it. Of course, we come down here, we do some maintenance and everything. Now, one thing I do want to say, guys, that if it's not your property, please don't tie any 550 cord around any pieces of trees and leave them there for something like this, because this will eventually kill the trees if we don't adjust this. We do plan on adjusting this and taking it down seasonally. We'll probably just keep this up until the, the winter months and then we'll take it down. But even in that time frame, there's some pretty good growth that can happen. You can damage these trees. If, if not damage them completely, you're definitely going to alter the way they grow because there's tension being pulled on them in a certain direction. So Alright guys, so give them a check out Bushcraft Outfitters at bushcraftusa.com. Some great stuff. They have a bunch of different tarps. Also some ultra light, very, very nano thin uh, tarps. I'll be doing some reviews here in the near future. Alright guys, Adam from Equip If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equiptonor.com. You guys take care. Be safe out there. Remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.